Heart failure. It's a big problem and it's only going to get worse. The number of people with heart failure is increasing dramatically. But what makes that fact even more terrifying is that 50% of patients with heart failure will die within the first five years after diagnosis. The reason for these depressing outcomes is that current heart failure therapies don't fix the main problem in heart failure, and that is death of heart muscle. If we can develop new heart failure therapies that replace dead heart muscle with new heart muscle, we can restore the heart's ability to pump blood and cure heart failure. Now, the question is, where do we get new heart muscle from? Well, one of the most promising sources of new heart muscle are called cardiac side population cells, or CSPCs for short. These are thought to be stem cells of the heart. When CSPCs are removed from the heart and studied in a dish, they have the amazing ability to form new heart muscle and to make clones of themselves. Because of these unique properties, scientists declare that CSPCs were stem cells of the heart. But see, there's a problem with that statement. It's based on research that studies CSPCs in a dish, outside of their natural environment. It would kind of be like if we took a tiger from the jungle, stuck it in a circus, trained it to jump through rings of fire, and then declared that all tigers, even the ones still in the jungle, will jump through rings of fire. It's kind of ridiculous, right? Well, that's the exact same logic that was applied to CSPCs. Just because CSPCs behave like stem cells in, the heart, in, in a dish, does that mean that CSPCs behave like stem cells in the heart? That is a question that I am trying to answer with my thesis project. I'm using a new mouse model that our lab developed to label CSPCs with a bright green fluorescent protein called GFP. This allows me to trace CSPCs inside the heart without disturbing them to see if they form new heart muscle. With this mouse model, I've shown that CSPCs do form heart muscle. Surprisingly, at a much higher rate than we had predicted, but still not enough to treat heart failure. Moving forward, we are identifying ways to activate CSPCs inside the heart to form more heart muscle so that we can develop new therapies that will significantly improve the lives of heart failure patients. Thank you.